Susanna says that she will die from sorrow. Months ago, she watched in horror as anti-government militia in Burundi violently tore her family apart. The violent acts weren't solely attributed to anti-government militia. Manasse, a hospital pharmacist, was arrested by Burundi's pro-government forces. He still bears the scars of his torturous three-month stay in prison. More than 270,000 people have fled to neighboring countries, particularly Tanzania, uh, DRC and Rwanda. And that flow hasn't ended because the internal conflict in Burundi continues to be the cause of uh, uh, internal and especially external displacement. All this to say that uh, uh, Africa is and remains the theater of some of the largest refugee situations in the world. Unfortunately, um, uh, it has not received enough attention. Funding of our operations in Africa continues to be very low. It is important that the same attention that is put in trying to address politically either crisis is exercised also in Africa. Because in the end, like everywhere else, you need to make peace in order to find a way forward for these millions of refugees and displaced. I'm not sure how many years it will take till we eliminate conflict. That would be a long time. I'm hopeful that we'll make some difference. Uh, it may not be a huge difference right away. We won't see a lot of difference coming quickly, but we can at least set the grounds for people thinking about refugees and migrants in a different way, accepting them more, more easily and readily.